Star Wars nerds, and welcome back to Star Wars for Nerds. Well, actually, not really welcome back, because my last video was just my intro video. My first sort of welcome video. So, clearly, maybe you watched that, or maybe you're just finding this now. Um, hopefully, this video went kind of viral. Probably won't. It's just some 3D prints. But, yeah. Anyway, let's get into it. So, first off... We have my, let's go with the BT, uh, isn't the BTLB Y-Wing, I think? I may have said that wrong, um, but I think it's right. This is the um, older version of the Republic Y-Wing that everybody um, knows and loves. And I was inspired to print this. See, the, see if you can catch the details here. It's white, so it's so far to catch in the light. And I was inspired to do this because of, I think it's episode 3. Or four in the Clone Wars, where um, uh, um, Anakin Skywalker and his crew go out to assault the um, malevolence in these, and it's, it's a cool episode. They go on a bombing run. But yeah, I just thought it was really cool. Got the nice, all the nice details like the turrets, um, engines. Got everything very nicely. So I'm really, really like that. Really proud of that. Next one I'm going to go over is the Tantive um, 4 IV. Um, pretty sure I said that right. This is the ship from the beginning of the New Hope of the Star Wars trilogy. It's very cool. Um, and it was at the end of Rogue One. And it's just a really awesome ship. It has how many engines? 11 engines. It's really impressive. Really cool. They got these. Um, I don't know what these are. Maybe like... Out. I'm not even going to guess because I'm probably going to get way off. Um, got what I think are escape pods down here that C-3PO and R2-D2 escape in. Uh, got the bridge. It's just... It's have you have a look at it. It's just really cool. Really detailed. Nice ship. I like that. So next, we're going to go over, I think, the Star Destroyer. So, this was a fairly long print. It's very detailed. Sorry for the light here, it sort of glares off it, but, um, I forgot to take some supports off here, so I need to take those off later, so sorry about that, but, um, yeah, I think it's really cool. If you see, it got the bridge, all the details really nicely, um, got, actually not sure what that is, so I'm not going to guess down there, um, I think this may just been accidental in the print, if you see that there's a divot down there. But I think it actually might be supposed to be the docking bay, where, um, like, the ships get sucked up into and stuff, and TIE fires come out, and I just think that's a cool idea. So, next, this was actually funny, because this was an accident. So, I was trying to print a General Grievous, which I actually did print. I'll show you them after this. But, um, I accidentally clicked on the wrong file, and I got... Very cute baby Yoda. So, um, if you see, the 3D printers just got the cloth and everything perfectly. It got his little Yoda hands very nicely. Got every line in the cloth. Like, it even sort of feels like, like, um, sort of almost soft. Almost. It's very cool. And galls. Sort of cute facial expressions. Got the ears very nicely. Um, if you look below him, it's very sort of hollow in there. Supports. But I think he's cute. I think it's cool. But, um, and next, last one, I'm very proud of this one, is a sort of, like, General Grievous action figure. Now, I think this is awesome, because, um, I don't know, it's just, he looks so cool. You've got all the little details, the hands, the sort of clawed feet, the joints in the legs, and you clean off some of those plastic strings. They got it's his cape and all the textures very nicely. Shoulder plates, I think those might be. They got his just... And look at his helmet. Like, that's so detailed and so nice. Um, they could have done a little better work on the, like, chest plate. But that's alright. That's cool. Sort of is in, like, a leaping position. And I just think it, it was just really awesome. Very detailed. Very happy with this one. But, um, yeah, that is really all my prints for today. Um, last thing I'm going to show you is just the scale of the ships. So, um, really, um, I'm pretty happy with the scales. Of course, 
Um, I couldn't print this one too large, so of course it would be bigger in real life, but um, yeah, that's fine. Um, so of course it's out of scale, but um, this and the Y, um, BTL, BY wing are actually pretty nicely in scale. I mean, this is obviously pretty, well, like, well, it's way bigger than it would be, but um, I don't know, they still look good together. Um, I will be going over tomorrow, the last of my 3D prints. I'm going to be making a Separatist Dreadnought, maybe like a Darth Maul, some other cool guy to accompany him. And um, soon I will be going over my um, Escape at Cloud City Lego set, which I'm very excited for. I think you guys will enjoy that. It's taking me a very long time, but I'm almost done. I'll go over that. I think that's really cool. Might be getting some new Lego sets soon. Go over those. Um, I got some action figures I'm going to go over. They're pretty new, some black series. They are very cool, very good condition. So anyway, that is all I have for today, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Click the bell, subscribe, like the, the video. Yep. See you guys around. Nerd out. See ya.